most family members don't address. I want to talk about my, my parent going to the hospice. It's almost never happens like that unless they have cancer and then they know this is like, you know, imminent death is within a month or a few months from now. But for Alzheimer's patients or congestive heart failure patients, time to, uh, to talk about it when they become more immobile. Uh, let's say they're uh, wheelchair bound and they can't be transferred easily to the, uh, to the bathroom, to the shower chair, and they, they decline, they, they stop eating full meals, uh, very partial meals. They have very uh, tiredness, fatigue, and they spend most of the time sitting or lying down in bed. And uh, family can actually tell better than a doctor who sees them once, uh, once in a while that patient is declining from previous stage. So there's like, some kind of abrupt decline uh, frequently. Maybe they fell down, and that's actually happens a lot of the time that they, they break their hip. And you think they can recover, but they don't. And then they start declining because they were in pain, and then they just bed bound, and bed bound causes a lot of other problems. Um, for for congestive heart failure, they are more and more short of breath, and they need oxygen all the time, and they need uh, they can't do few steps without being in in uh, discomfort. And with hospice care, we can provide um, medication, relief, oxygen, uh, frequent nurses' visits, uh, and and help with uh, caring of the patient. Um, much better than they would have done just coming to the office. It, uh, for example, they can't come to the primary doctor or cardiologist every week, where the with the nursing care that we provide. Like every week somebody is watching out, even twice a week sometimes, for that patient.